Kinky Diaries. When you walk into a beauty supply store, you see a lot of containers, cans, containing a lot of imported beauty products. Nowadays in Nigeria, a lot of us women now know the essence of traditional regimens in our beauty routine. And that is why Beauty Diaries is going all the way out to focus on the Fulani Kanuri Beauty Regimen. Of course, the Fulani people are found apart from Nigeria in Chad, Guinea, Senegal, you know, in other areas. So today on the program, we'll be looking at the beauty regimen from the northern part of Nigeria. Welcome to Beauty Diaries. My name is Namuri Ede Muya. The Beauty Diary train today is in a traditional spa owned by Rahama Adam Mohammed. She is also a henna artist. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for having us here. And I'm glad you, you're ready to talk to us and tell us more about um, what we want to know about the Fulani Kanuri woman beauty regimen, so to speak. Sure. Yes. How did it all start for you, owning a traditional spa and being an inner artist? Mm, it started um, back in 2016, right when um, I was done with my youth service. It was actually um, the whole thing, the whole henna, it wasn't really something new. It had always been there for me, you know. I was quite a little creative with. Um, the glitter pens back in school and all that but then officially started um, in 2016 yeah and then um, um, there weren't many people doing this back in 2016 in Abuja, in Abuja. Okay. yeah so um, I took up on that opportunity and um, well here we are interesting yeah. now tell us about the um, different regimen the women in the northern part of Nigeria and in some other countries you know how yeah. um, um, from my own um, research which is quite exciting and interesting mm. I, I I've noticed that it's not just the Fulani woman or the Kanuri women rather um, it spreads further into Chad Guinea Somalia yeah. even India yeah you know when it comes to the the, the beauty regimen which is um, really really um, healing which has an healing effect yeah okay uh, turmeric, there's something called kum kum. Curcum, yes. Curcum. Yes. Okay, I learn every day mm -hmm. on Beauty Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Which is made out of yogurt, um, turmeric, turmeric. Uh, milk. honey, and milk. Yeah. You had milk with yogurt? Yeah. Okay. You don't want to tell us some of the beauty. It's a, it's a beauty secret we know, mm -hmm. but please just let it out. <laughs> okay, yeah. so tell us, we have some in front of us here. Yeah. What are the beauty regimens? Um, so we have, a, you know, some of the other ones that we have generally. So these ones are like typically some of the very important ones. Mm -hmm. We have turmeric, which is like um, a body mask stroke scrub. Okay. It can be used um, either way. Okay. Yeah, it's used for, you know, removing dead skin cells. It adds some um, glow to the skin. Mm -hmm. It polishes the skin, you know. It helps out with um, pigmentations and it's an all-rounder actually. Oh, okay. We actually drink it in tea oh, yeah. and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. So we have the coffee, the brown coffee-like looking one mm. is the dill case scrub. It's a deep exfoliator. Okay, so yeah. I can just take coffee and mix with what? No, no, no it's, um, it's coffee-like. It looks like, I it's mean, yeah, it looks like coffee, but it's not coffee. Oh. Yeah. It's actually made from either rice or potatoes or um, oh, okay. peanuts. Okay. Yes. And that lightens the skin. It kind of does because if it removes the dead skin cells, what the dill K does, mm. it, um, it's uh, a deep exfoliator. It helps to remove the dead skin cells. So the dead skin cells have a way of making the skin look dull. So by the time it's been polished yes. with the dill K, it kind of like, you know, leaves the skin smoother, brighter, and then very silky and all of that okay interesting yeah. but there's one i know of coffee scrub where you mix coffee yeah um sugar yeah and then probably yogurt and you just do exactly okay yeah all right mm -hmm. so the next one i see the, the green. yeah we have um we have the hibiscus which is like um we call it which one is hibiscus now? The pink it's one? a pink one yeah so it's like it comes like a mask we add um, milk, we add um, yolk to it, we add um, any essential oil, 
Yes. Um, the green one is um, seaweed, which is locally called DA. Yeah, so um, it has a lot of, a lot of benefits to it. It's, um, it's people that have or maybe suffer from acne, you know, pimples and all that. It really helps to take care of that. It adds polish, like it adds glow, you know, visible glow to the skin. And then it's used on the hair as well. Okay. It gives it this porcelain feel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the one that looks like, um, that has a lemon green color. Okay, yeah, that's the, um, that's the local henna powder. Oh, yeah, okay. that is used for the skin, you know, for decorations and then for hair, to dye the hair as well. Now, henna powder, does it come in different colors? Um, henna is just henna. It's one henna, actually. But, the, I mean the color. The color people, like, we make it out to be in the colors that we want it to. Uh -huh, okay. But then most, like, this is the, in its natural form. Mm. This is the natural henna that everybody knows. But then we have the black dye. Exactly. We have the, the white brown. henna. They are all like body paints, not not henna. Okay. Yeah, they could have a little bit of um the henna extract, but then they are mostly dyes. Oh, yeah, so this is the tradition. This is the natural in its natural form. Okay, and yeah. then the, the the creamy one. The yeah, that is um the rice um scrub. It's called halta. Yeah, it's also for deep exfoliations. You know, it infuses some um, moisture to the skin and then gives you an all-round youthful look. Okay. Yes. Now we've talked about these powders and we say it's traditional. Yeah. So most of these, um, uh, um, the, most of these are gotten from natural resources. Yes, exactly. So we have potato, we have rice. rice. Yeah. What we else? have um, peanuts. Okay. We have hibiscus. We have henna. We have um, turmeric. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious that the it's easy to get all of, of this. Of course, of things. course it is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how how do you go about the scrub? Let's talk about the scrubs first. Yeah. Um, if I come to your spa and I want to do one of the scrubs, yeah. What's the process? You don't tell you you don't do you show your customers what you use? Of course. Okay. Of course. So we're yet to learn. Just yeah. tell us what you do. Um, so, like I said, it comes in like different sessions. Okay. So when some a customer or a client comes in, we ask what they want to do. Some people would, would opt for the sugar wax, which we haven't discussed yet. Yes. I'm sure you would have heard some screams ouch, at the. Ouch. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the sugar wax. It's okay. used to remove the hair on the body, and then um, as it removes the hair, it also removes the dead skin cells. Actually. Okay. Yes. So um, after the sugar wax. Okay, let me walk you through. We mm. do the sauna bath first. Okay. The sauna bath um, smoothens the skin and prepares it for whatever session we're doing. Helps remove toxins and all of that. So afterwards, if you're doing the full package, that is if it has everything in it, mm. then we go on to the sugar wax okay. to remove the hair so that whatever glow session we're doing after that would infuse more into the skin. Yes. So we now do the um, glow polish, which... Um, it could come in different forms. It depends if it is a casual or a bridal package. Okay, now, sorry, I need to ask. The yeah. sugar wax, um, if it takes off the hair on my skin, how yeah. long before it comes back? Oh, yeah. Um, it depends on how hairy you are. So if I'm very As hairy? If you're very hairy, it could take um, four to six weeks. Oh, really? But if you're not very hairy, it could take two to three months. No you side effects? No side effects. Bones and all of that. Um, bombs are more like um, um, uh, frequent with um, the bee wax, that is the oh, strip. Okay. But then the sugar wax, it has the aftercare. So after you are done with sugar wax, maybe five to seven days afterwards, you're supposed to actually polish your skin. Oh, yeah, that could be at home. You can just make some things, maybe sugar with um, honey and um, any essential oil and just scrub yourself in the shower okay. yeah, to avoid any ingrowth or things okay. like that. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. an interesting one about the sugar wax. Yes. But I don't think I want to go through that pain. You, everybody wants to go mm -hmm. through that. If you know what it results, everybody would want to do I that. I once did um, the seaweed, is it the, the charcoal one yeah, on yeah. my face? Yeah. All alone <laughs> at home. I that, was was, <laughs> that was an experience, right? That was an experience. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, I'm not like, ooh, ooh. I know. Ouch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's all in the head. It's all in the head. 
Ah, it's not really all that. For some of us, you can't stand pink. Can you stand pink? <laughs> well, if you, if you do this, just share with us on Instagram, Twitter, um, and on, on Facebook. We'll be eager to know more about your experience. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break. Stay with us. <laughs> I put my head in the air one time For all of my African women I'm singing la 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 To all of my African women You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful, You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Like say na angel they pass. She no get wahala. She no say she be very high class. She no need the makeup. It's a natural something. You are beautiful. Oh, you are beautiful. I put my head in the air one time for all of my African women. I'm singing la 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 to all of my African women. The beautiful. You're welcome back from the break. Now you were telling us about the um, process yes. of having a, um, a spa treatment done yes. with the herbal um, products. Yes. Okay. So let's um, from the spa from the um, steam. You mm -hmm. do the steam yes. bath. Yes. And then the sugar wax, the comes, sugar wax next. comes in. And yes. Then the body polish. Okay. Yes. So the body polish could either be um, casual or bridal. Okay. The casual is um, we mostly use um, the dilke, the um, the curcum, that is a turmeric. And dilke then, is what from where now? The word dilke is it? Is it Hausa? Is it um, Indian? No, no, it's not Indian. Okay. It's um, it's a northeast northeast word, word. actually. Okay. The Kanuris use that. The um, sorry, Sudanese people use that. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Dilke, that's the green one. Yes. Okay. No, oh. Dilke, that is the brown one. I beg your pardon. Okay. Yes. Fine. Yes. So, um, we're talking about the ordinary mm -hmm. and then the the one for... Uh, the bridal. The, bride, the bridal yes. one. Yes. Okay. The bridal one, um, it's pretty much the same as the casual, but because we do it for a certain number of days, each day comes different. Oh, wow. So if this day we mix, like we, we, we apply three different ones for her, mm -hmm. the next day could be other three different ones. Because they, are, they come in like, um, we have about 12 different ones. So we keep substituting them for each day till we are done with the whole package. All on one, but all on one. <laughs> yeah, I can you must glow. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah. for the, that's the that's bridal one. That's for the bridal one, yes. Wow. And then the casual one, uh, we look at the skin. We look at them if it is a problem skin where we need to maybe use some um, something like the DA. Maybe if you have um, so many uh, my skin rash or pimples and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So it goes with the skin type. If you're fair, there there is a particular package we use for you, a particular combo. If you're a dark skin person, we so that at the end of the day we achieve the maximum glow with oh, your beautiful. yeah, depending on the skin type. Okay. Now, is it easy to source for these um, products? Yeah, it is. I would say it's quite easy. It's quite easy. Um, we we get this um, most of them from um, Borno or Sudan, actually. So um, we had a little bit of um, a setback during the Boko Haram, you know, instability and all that. So we had things shipped all the way from the Sudan to here, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but now at least some of the borders are beginning to open up, so we it's can just order. Together. Yes. Now, to complete the process, there, yeah. was, there is a Dukan, you said. Yes. Tell us about it. The Dukan is, um, is, a, is a smoke bath. 
um, is okay. um, yeah. So it's um, made from acacia plants and um, sandalwood with other secret ingredients, you know. So it's um, it's supposed to um, add to the glow. It does many things actually. It cures certain infections in a woman. It's um, the smoke is very good for the skin because yes. we wrap the by whole body with some um, cloth so that the smoke doesn't escape okay and then yeah it's um it traps warmth in a woman which is um a very good thing and then um it tightens actually okay. yeah so especially for new moms and you know oh, rights okay. to be and yes. all that. yeah okay that's one part that um women you know would like to discuss on instagram yeah now i, I that all of that mm -hmm. are beauty secrets mm -hmm. and regimens for for all of us now. Yeah. No the <laughs> of course. We all do it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about the one that we all love. But you need to tell me first if it is a religious thing or if it is fashion. I'm talking about henna because when some people see you with henna, they say you are a Muslim. Yeah. Is it a religious thing or is it just fashion amongst the northern women? It's not a religious thing. Very good. It's now fashion. I can wear my oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I do wear it now once in a while. <laughs> yeah, um, but even though the Muslims take it, you know, to heart, you know, because mm -hmm. um, it's part of our Sunnah, which is like um, Islamic culture. Okay. But then it's more of fashion these days. Everybody can get to do henna, mm -hmm. so it's not it's not um, religious. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. henna is um, a paint. Yes. You, you, that it, you, you create designs on the body for it. Yeah. I see different types and they're so beautiful. Now, we have that for the ones for the bride and we have that for friends or the daily one. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Mm, um, the henna comes in different um, colors, different dyes. We have the natural henna, which is um, what we apply on mostly for the let's say elderly mm -hmm. women, especially okay. the household land. Yeah, so there's an age group. There is actually. Okay. It's more um, the the elderly women are more particular with the local one, oh. that's the traditional one. Okay. Yes, and then we have the black dye, which is um, of course some of the elderly ones do that, but then it's more like a a, a, a youthful you know, design that um, the younger ones go for. Okay. Yeah, and then we have um, the white one, the white henna. It's not really henna, but it's like a body paint. Oh. Yes, that um, you apply them. It's a Malaysian product, actually. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but it doesn't really stay long. Okay. Yes. And then we have um, the glittered henna. Okay, and that's interesting. Now that's we're thing. all going bling bling. Yeah. So the henna has gone bling bling too. Bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about the glitter henna. Yeah. So the glittered henna is more like something, you know, I decided to just add recently. Okay. Not really, not too recent actually, like two years ago. Oh. So it's um it's supposed to bring out the glam in henna actually. Okay. Yeah. So we use it for photo shoots. Um some brides opt for it, you know, it gives them that it completes the mm. whole henna, the whole look actually. It can be very beautiful. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to go through the process of Applying the henna. the henna, so we'll okay. see how it goes. Sure. Um, we'll be right back after this break. Next is um, henna. I'm going to have some on me. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ubi Franklin and you're watching Beauty Diaries with Inamore. My name is Adewale Aladijana, Master Perfumer for Safari Sense, and you're watching Beauty Diaries with Inamore. Don't change that dial. My name is King Tonto and you're watching Beauty Diaries with Inamore on AIT. Don't touch that dial. Beauty Diaries. Now it's time for you to see how the henna is um, applied to the hand. Of course, we, you get to see pictures as we well, as we're doing this. You see different types. So um, let's just go on. Should I take sure. off my yeah, okay. please. Yes. Yeah. So how long is this going to last? Um, it could last seven to ten days. Sometimes even more, okay. up to two weeks, depending on your skin type. Okay. Yes. When you say skin type, oily skin. Yes, oily skin, dry skin, absorbent skin. Oh. Okay. Do you talk when doing this? Of course I do. You talk, okay. All the gist. How, how, how did you learn this? Because for some people to even draw a straight line is a problem. <laughs> Actually, 
Um, I think it's actually self-thought. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, I was on Instagram one time and I saw how the cone was being um, wrapped. Yeah. So it just sparked an interest and I felt, wow, you know, this is something I can actually do. So I started with um, practicing with um, um, white lotion so that I don't get to make mistakes and all that. And then voila, I was just in. Okay. Yeah. So do the designs mean anything? Do they symbolize? Are they, are they symbols? Do they have any meaning? Um, yes, actually. The florals, we have the floral design, we have the tribal design. Yeah. So it all depends on your personality. Okay. Yeah, it all depends on your personality. So some people walk in here and just tell us, okay, I want something really bold, you know, and then maybe that defines who they are or probably what their style is all about mm -hmm. yeah and some people want something intricate and you know simple so okay. it all depends on your personality actually what did you study i studied on bit business information technology yeah and I'm sure you never used it. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I had a concrete first class in it, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I yeah. like that. Concrete first class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's all business, yes? Mm -hmm. For you. Now you see this lovely intricate design. Um, it's not dried yet. Yes, it's not. How dry. long? It takes about um, because it dries fast, about thirty minutes okay. to dry. Yeah, it could take more depending on the humidity of where you are, but they're mostly thirty minutes. Interesting. Yes. Um, you have the bridal one. You said you have that for. Yeah. So what um, does it take for me to come and do some lovely designs? Designs, yeah. Okay. Um, it comes on different packages, actually, like you said. So we have the normal casual design. It starts from one five per hand, two hands to five. Hands and feet is 5K. And then we have, um, if you want to go above the wrist, not bridal, but then at least way into the hands, yeah. it also, you know, it because it um, attracts more... Um, um, price. price, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. And then um, we have the leadless designs, maybe you just want to write a name, you know, with um, a calligraphy design. So it starts from 1000, you know, 1k, or you want maybe the stars or butterflies and stuff. Yeah. Yes. And then we have the bridal package, it starts from 25k. Okay, 25,000. Yes. yes. That's good. Yeah. This is beautiful. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to be flaunting this. Maybe sure. in the next episode, it will still be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Now, tell us, um, the, the business of all of this, can someone learn the trade? Yeah, you know? of course. Of course. We're actually like um, organizing a training towards um, um, early April, you know, first week of April or so. So a lot of people ask if we do trainings and all that. You can actually train someone to draw you know, the henna, to do the body polish, to do the sugar wax. You can, it all depends on if you want to learn. 
Yeah. If you do, you can you can actually get the hitch of it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for allowing us into your space. You're so I welcome. It. You're so welcome. Well, I've learned a lot today. Some things I've read about now I see done practically, and and I'm sure we've learned a lot from the beauty secrets of the northeastern woman. I'm glad I made this today and. Um, like I always tell you, the show continues on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You have questions for Rahama, send it to me, not her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, goodies, freebies from Rahama. Yeah. I don't know about that, but mm -hmm. hey, we'll be sending out a question next week. If you, if, you, if you get the right answer, then we'll let you know what's in for you. Yeah. My name is Namure Ejemiya. Thank you so much for being part of Beauty Diaries. We never know where the beauty train will stop next. But all the same, thank you for watching. See you same time next week. Don't forget to follow us on our various social media platforms. Remain beautiful inside and out. Bye-bye for now.